you are more powerful when you think of you, the term you, as a collective rather than as an individual and you think about what you can learn from the experts and the other people around you so that what you're harnessing is the power of everybody around you rather than what you do yourself. And Well, we're in such a period of generational change. Uh, uh, every industry is being disrupted so significantly by technology and changes in society that um, we've all got to behave really differently and face into those sorts of challenges. So whether that's about bravery or risk-taking or testing and learning in an environment where we don't know what device to take retail, we don't know what device we're going to be shopping in in a few years time, let alone uh, what other um, technology will be coming into play in the industry. So you've got to keep experimenting and, and bravery and risk taking is, is part of being brave and exploring your way to the future. I absolutely do and of course because of what I've just said, none of us know what the right answer is for the future and there's probably not one right answer. Uh, so we, we need to be honest about that with all of the people that we work with and show that vulnerability that we don't have all the answers. And I think it's, um, it's in empowering and engaging for people to know that you don't. And we've all grown up, particularly um, you know, for generations, we've had uh, leaders who were strong, visible, uh, knew all the answers. They were kind of you know, the army general uh, definition of leaders. Um, and it's increasingly not the way the world works today. So it's going to take time for a cultural shift to happen that leaders are not supposed to know all the answers and actually it's about helping, you know, gathering people around you who can help you create the right conditions to make the right decisions. But um, you know, we're so conditioned to this view of leadership that's quite one-dimensional um, that it's going to take time for those cultures, uh, that, that sense of what a great leader is to change. Well, great question, because, um, I mean, there's still not enough really senior women in most industries, if, if not all. Uh, so we've still got some way to go. But I, I can't honestly say that I would give a woman starting out in a career in, in retail or in marketing or any industry, for that matter, different advice to the, the advice I'd give a, a guy starting out. You know, you go in believing that there are no limits, but go in being curious, understanding your role in the bigger picture, um, offering to help out and get stuck into things that are not strictly part of your remit. And um, I think, you know, a, a real sense of um, uh, you are more powerful when you think of you, the term you, as a collective rather than as an individual. And you think about what you can learn from the experts and the other people around you so that what you're harnessing is the power of everybody around you rather than what you do yourself. And, and I, I would give that same advice to, to a, a man or woman starting out today.